Welcome to ClickDesk. On today's demonstration, we will learn how to add an agent in just a few simple steps. From the ClickDesk dashboard, you can choose the agent icon from here or the tab on top. Okay, you can go on to the Add Agents from here. Now, under the Agent Profile, all fields below need to be filled in. Okay, so we could type in the agent's full name. Okay, you could choose a nickname for the agent. Now this is the name that will appear on the chat when your customers view it. Okay, so just bear that in mind. You could add an email address and a password. Now these credentials would be the logging information to the agent chat panel. You could access the agent chat panel by just clicking on this link. If you desire to upload the agent's image or a picture, you could simply upload from here. This image will also appear as what your customers would see once the agent is online. If you're happy with the changes you've made, you can simply click on Save Changes. Okay, immediately it takes you to the agent that we created. To simply edit an agent, you could click anywhere on the box. All right, so there are other options in taking chats apart from the agent chat panel. So let's find out how. Okay, so you can click on IM network. Okay, so from the drop down of the network, you have a choice or option Google Talk, Google Apps, or Google Mail, or Skype. Okay, so in this example, I will choose Google Talk. Now for Google Talk, you simply need to enter your GTalk username. Okay. Now when accessing this, you would also need to check this box. By clicking on this box, it enables you to receive chatbots on GTalk or on Skype, depending on whatever you've chosen. Okay, so before I click Save Changes, I want to just pull up my GTalk. Right, so this is my GTalk, and notice that I don't have any contacts as yet. So I will click Save Changes right now. Let's see what happens. All right, so immediately it takes me back to my agents that were created and it tells me there's a pending verification. Okay, so let's go to GTalk. Okay, so as you could see on GTalk, notice I had no contacts, but it tells me that there are several people that want to add me. So I could simply expand or show requests and I have five chat bots that I need to grant access to. So I could simply click on all to accept. Okay, so I have five chats. I can simply minimize that. Now what I need to do is go back to the dashboard and click verify now. Okay, it'll open up this pop-up and I would need to click I have added and verify. And instantly it tells me that the status for that particular agent is now online, which means he or she has the ability to take chats from their GTalk or Skype depending on what was chosen. Hangouts is currently not yet supported. Okay, so I want to do more additions, so I could simply click anywhere on the box. Okay, so let's say if your customers would like to reach out to you and instead of chatting, they would like to speak to you. So from the chat widget, there's an option or there's an icon that they can call you or call the agent directly. So to set that up, you simply click on phone, Okay, you can choose the options from Google Talk, Skype, or US. So no matter where you would like to have the calls routed, this would be the, the options you can choose from. Okay, so for Google Talk, you simply need your GTalk ID and you would need to copy inbox widget at gmail.com and paste it or add it as one of your contacts on GTalk. Okay. With Skype, simply enter your ID or your Skype telephone number. With US, this is quite straightforward. Simply put any designated US telephone number and you'll be able to receive your calls there. So in this example, I will choose Google Talk. So let me put my ID. Okay, so I'm gonna copy inbox widget at gmail.com because I don't have that as a contact on GTalk. So I'm gonna open up GTalk and let's add that. Paste it and we click finish. Okay. There we go. So I see inbox widget is added successfully as one of my contacts. Now this 
would grant me the ability to receive calls directly from GTAR and I could even make calls from here. Now going back to the dashboard, remember to click save changes so it will complete the process. Alright, so what if I would like to make additional changes on the advanced settings? So let's, once again you can click anywhere on the box, you can click advanced. Now there are three levels to choose from. Meaning, if level 1 agent has reached his or her maximum simultaneous chats, it will go to level 2. And the same principle applies until it reaches the next level. Simultaneous chat provides you the option to choose between 1 to 5, where 5 is the maximum. So on the free plan, there are only 1 simultaneous chat. Okay. So once you are done, click Save Changes. To access the agent chat panel, you can click on the agent login from here or from this icon. If you go into the drop down and you can select agent login. All right, so whilst it loads, it will immediately open up this page, which gives you the ability to see your visitor's location once they land on your website. To take chats, you can click on the live chats from here where you can actively engage with your customers and conclude successful sales. So this brings us to the end of our demonstration. Thank you for your time.